Hello and welcome to Asset World of Me, Bomb Bomb B. I'm Bomb Bomb B. You're very, very welcome. And this is the city build where we use only the assets that are being reviewed in what map, both past and present. Today we'll be looking at the assets which we've been reviewing this week, plus from the first week of August 2017. That's right, just over a year ago. They're the old assets, and here are all of the new ones. You'll get a chance to see all of those as we go along, plus with cinematics at the end of the show. Right, first up, from what's map number 85? Yes, in fact that was the very last show of July 2017 actually. Uh, the Futuristic Primary School by Cushy Crux. Uh, very nice modern looking, completely implausible, futuristic <laughs> primary school. No problem with that, before they put it over there in the service area. Next up, uh, episode 86 of What's Map, we reviewed the Arrowhead Building 1x4 Rico by Exurbanite. Now I thought long and hard about whether to have it there, or maybe we could put it this end. We could have pushed all the buildings along. I might even do that. I might even move all the buildings up just a little bit to make a bit more room for it at that other end by next week's show. Then in episode 87, we have the Romery Village Farmhouse 4 by Lost Gecko. Lost Gecko has been producing these rustic looking buildings for a long time. And in fact, we reviewed one this very week, which we'll be seeing later on today as well. Now I'm not doing an awful lot of detailing in this particular city build. Um, I am no strict toaster, I wish I had his skills, but I, I've got some rudimentary skills I guess. Uh, I will be doing a little bit of detailing when I feel it deems necessary. And uh, along here I do feel that these buildings along here do need some like hedges or whatever just to define them. Uh, so uh, we are popping a couple of trees as well. Once again, we're using only the linden trees at the moment because these are the only trees which have been reviewed in the shows that we have covered. When more trees become available, then we'll be using those as well. Right next up from episode 88 of What's Map, it's the Sicily Italy Church by Dazar. Now, I uh, felt that was a bit too close to the road, push it across a little bit. I could do some more detailing on this, I may do in the future, but for now, it's okay like that on its own. Next one, episode 89 of What's Map, the UK Scotney Gardens by Paul J. Chris. Now, I knew exactly where I wanted to put this. I'm having a little bit of trouble connecting that little entry road at the front to the main road network. I'm not quite sure how you do it. Um, I've, I've set and unset the... Uh, the uh, anarchy i can't seem to get it to work i'm just going to drop it down so it blends in better anyway um if you've got the answer for how to connect that up please let me know in the comments but um yeah for what it is still looks okay like that i um, might just use some uh, some decals or the uh, plumpable asphalt to make it blend in uh, over here i feel that we just need to bring some uh, a little road around the side to the back i'm not going to do too much detailing here we just move it just to get it to match in like that. But yes, it's not ideal. Once again, I could probably use some plumpable asphalt around there as well. See the way it's clipping into the hill? We're just going to do a little bit of terraform work just to get rid of some of those clipping marks. And once again, I probably at some point will use some trees around the outside just to decorate. But for now, that's the UK Scotty Gardens by Paul J. Chris from episode 89 of What's Map. And then episode 90, our old friend... Um, oh no, it's not our old friend, I beg your pardon, I thought, I thought this was King Leno's work, it's not, it's Infinite's World, and it's the uh, Shoe Carnival from episode 90 of What Map. Uh, felt that uh, we needed to move this back from the road a little bit, uh, allow a little bit of parking room on the front, still not happy there, I tried a little bit of, uh, this is where you had the fun where you have with terraforming things and just want to make it work. And by dropping the road there caused terraforming issues with these two assets. So um, I wasn't happy with that. And so in the end, I figured, okay, what we'll do is we'll just have to have it at a slightly higher level. I definitely want the, um, I definitely want Shoe Carnival in this location, right by the home, de home depot. I would say 
Home Depot in this country, but uh, Home Depot is what I hear the Americans call it, so it is the Home Depot, I'll let it go, and Shoe Carnival is uh, obviously a big chain of, of shoe retailers, bless them, uh, fitting the feet of Americans north, south, east and west, and possibly, um, possibly in the islands as well, I don't know, anyway, Shoe Carnival, a few, few trees there, just a to hide the ugliness between the two levels. There you go, that's how you do it, just hide things with trees. Uh, now into this week's what map, uh, episode 452, we uh, we had a look at the Hotel de Marville Rico by Find Build. That's gonna fit really nicely. This area is all gonna be Find Build and Jez and, um, oh, basically probably just, <laughs> probably just there to work actually. It's in the old part of town. In front of the cathedral, we'll be doing a few things in this area today because this week on What's Map, we looked at a lot of these old buildings. Next up, we had now. Now this is where things are going to be a bit more fun. Uh, remember last week we put in this sort of uh, oh, a shanty town kind of feel to it. I'm extending it out with um, the Malta High Res Pack by Acapulco. Now, strictly speaking, this isn't a shanty town type of. Uh, building set. Um, in fact there's, there's um, more sets of the uh, Malta packs. There's the low res, there's um, there's the, uh, sorry not low res, yeah, yeah that's right, that's what I'm saying here. <laughs> there, yeah there's, the, there's the, low, the low res one, low density residential, packs one and two, there's this high density residential pack uh, which I figured we would use along here and sort of like blending just behind the back of the uh, FedEx forum. Uh, I think that was a commercial set as well. So plenty, plenty of things to choose from from uh, from Acapulco. We won't be using any of the others because I've not reviewed them within What's Map. It's just these buildings here. And um, we're just going to try and extend out this um, um, shanty town isn't the word, but uh, like, shall we say hastily put up cheap housing area that we're uh, backing onto the freeway because nobody wants to live up backing onto the freeway. And that is what's going on here. So um, it's not. Uh, it, had I had I planned the city build, I wouldn't exactly have done that, these buildings here. But I'm re I'm definitely much reacting. Definitely much. I'm definitely very much reacting to the buildings that are being reviewed each week. And yes, I do choose the buildings, but I don't know what's coming and. The buildings I'm choosing, I'm choosing for variation within the What's Map show, not for variation within Asset World. It's just a double bonus for me, really. So yes, it's anyway, it's coming together. Asset World is definitely filling out, and this area down by the freeway is. Uh, I think we're running out of space down here. What well, one thing I will be probably doing is um, using surface painter at some point, just to add a little bit more concrete between the houses, or possibly. Uh, gravel or something like that between the houses because uh, when when you see this area finished and we move on to the next item which would be uh, oh, a very pretty little item in fact I didn't know where to put the pretty oh, well jumping ahead of myself here yes um so yes <laughs> what the my brain my brain's not like oh I'm so excited by the next item no calm down bomb bomb calm down so yes uh this, this is a lovely set and it's not strictly for the use like this, but they're kind of, they are more um, cheaply looking put together buildings. Don't quite fit with the modern part of the town. So over here seemed absolutely beautiful, right by, right by the Mexican buildings. <laughs> because Malta and Mexico are right beside each other geographically. Didn't you know that? Oh, no, no, sorry, sorry. It, it, in the dictionary. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. I oh, know. So you've got the Maldives and no oh, no, Maldives is before Malta. Mexico is after Malta. Yeah, there's not that much between. I, I, do you know what? I'm I wish I had myself um a dictionary of the countries right in front of me right now. Just just thinking, what would become before Mexico? It must be something before Mexico and after Malta. There's bound to be something. Oh, that's gonna nag me now. That's gonna nag me. I will I will think of something. Ah no no no, just come down. Just move on, move on, move on. Right, so we're pretty much done with this area now. I think, like I say, some surface painting between the high-res buildings there would just blend it in a little bit more. Now, this is the beauty. The Belvedere du Petit Trianon Versailles by Jez. Haven't really got a place for this at the moment, so 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it to um, jump the electricity <laughs> from the back of the uh, cathedral here to uh, to the, the water area where I've got the swimming pools and the waterworks and all that sort of stuff. Uh, right there for now, it may get moved in the future, but for now, because I don't have like a big country house or something like that, I can use it in the garden, um, it does help me to uh, remove a few of these power lines. And actually there's a few power lines that I miss that can still be removed. Um, don't worry, I've probably done them off the camera. Okay, now, uh, what is next? Next we have the Choice Shop 5 France by Lost Gecko. Um, like I can say, we've had Lost Gecko already in today's show with the Romery Village Farmhouse. And that's the second one from him today. Next up is this beautiful little thing. It's the Maximilian Fountain Bratislava of Slovakia by Titan. Lovely fountain and look it fits beautifully right there. We're just going to have to raise the asset up a little bit because it's glitching into the decals underneath. So what we'll do is we'll do just that. Bring it up a few nodes. There we are. Not that many. No. There. Right there. <laughs> I, I think it looks beautiful in front of that, uh, that cathedral. And finally, we in episode 457 in yesterday's show, we had Shield Eye Candy by Breeze by Breeze. And we're going to use this to protect the uh, essential lighthouse from the rampaging, the rampaging, uh, rampaging, blimey, put your teeth in, uh, Shin Godzilla there. So uh, hopefully the essential lighthouse will remain essential for a little bit longer. There's, it's causing some glitching in the water there, but uh, hey, you can take that in as we get to the end. Well, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing. There are cinematics coming along very shortly indeed. Um, don't, don't forget to join me Monday to Saturday for What's Map because we, we're having a lot of fun reviewing a load of new assets every single day of the week, Monday to Saturday. Uh, yeah, that's basically all I've got to say. Of course, map making as well. Join me as I'm building my second ever map. That's um, most days, most days, Monday to Friday uh, in the evenings. So we're, we're getting on with that. And I'm looking to get some... Uh, some tutorials done, a few tutorials have raised their heads. Plus we've got the new DLC coming soon as well. Oh, have you seen about the new DLC? What do you mean you haven't? Oh, ho, ho. Uh, Colossal Order's got some, some very nice stuff lined up for us very soon. Anyway, thanks. Anyway, I'm going to boogle off now and leave you with these closing cinematics. <coughs> I've been Bon Bon B, coughing into your ear, and you've been very, very welcome.